I loved metalwork. I was really good at it in school. I can still remember the workshop that was in, the metal workshop. I remember going to my dad and I said, I'm going to be a silversmith. I've decided I'm going to go to um, college and be a silversmith. And he turned around to me and, it, and his exact words were, I thought you wanted to be a photographer. And I, well, I do, but I can't get on the course, so I'm going to be a silversmith instead. Every year the, the Goldsmiths Crafts Council put on a competition. I entered in one of my silver pieces and you know that ultimately won me the best junior silversmith in the country and that to me was saying hey you've got that skill you you are a craftsman i could pick stuff up with my hands and it would just do what i wanted it to do but i can create something that is absolutely beautiful and stunning to look at excitement on someone's face going i've got to have that that's just beautiful it's, you know, that's why I do it because you know people get enjoyment, they get upliftment from that and it's functional. You can pick it up and you can use it, it's tactile, it's got it's got feeling to it. You know, it lifts people's energy, it lifts their, their, their whole vibration because they can feel that. I am creating family heirlooms and that's you know that's just an amazing feeling it's to know that you've created something that could last a thousand years. I am creating antiques of the future and stuff to be passed down. When I do pass on, I know that my daughter and if I have any more children, have got that, that piece and go, my dad made that and look how clever he was and your granddad made that. And it goes on and you know, people are proud of that because it's, it's got that sentimental feeling and you know, my daughter, she, she'll have that piece or pieces and go, that's part of my dad and I you know when I'm holding that I'm close to my dad we're an artist because you know you're starting off with something you know someone would come to me and describe what they want made so I sit there with a pad and whether it's an iPad or a drawing pad I can draw this and sketch what they want and what they're describing to me and people describing something to me is you know you're creating that um, their dream, their, you know, their dream is coming to life. They're, they're describing something that they've only pictured in their heads. And then you're, you've created this, this beautiful work of art. And they understand that how much love and energy and care has been put into making this piece. Hey look, this is what it started off as. So you've got this square sheet of silver and then you go, and this is what it's finished with. And you know, you've created something. It's, you've brought something into being and excitement on someone's face going, I've got to have that, that's just beautiful. It's, you know, that's why I do it because you know, people get enjoyment, they get upliftment from that.